Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Acer Accenture 15 model. And today we're going to go through the BIOS settings. I found many requests that many people, especially the Acer user, they are quite complaining with the BIOS system. They said we can go to these settings, we can change from UEFI to legacy, many things, right? So today we're going to get into the BIOS and I will show you how to change and stuff like that. So, oh, if you would like to reinstall Windows, you can do that. You can enable the USB boot and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get into the video and check it out. And today we're going to go through the BIOS and check every single settings and stuff like that because I've received many requests to do that. Okay, let's see if you would like to install Windows 10 or 11. You need to get into the BIOS, change the current boot settings for it. So let's say I connect it here. And we're going to press the power button and straight away we're going to come back to F2. I did set up a BIOS password. I will show you how to do that. By default, the password is not enabled. But I'll show you why I done it. Just to enable some extra features. So there are a few sections that you can see. We'll go through everything. First is information. In here, we're going to check all the details of this machine. As you can see, it says uh what is in there intel 12 gen i3 processor and then it has macron ssd and 8 gig of ram and the model number extensor 215-55 okay and then if you press the right arrow which is from here we're going to go to the right section by main <clears throat> on main section we can see the date and time that we can visit sorry we can go down, as you can see, the highlighted white color goes up and down when you press the up arrow, down arrow. But if you go to advanced, there are two options. I'm going to go uh, in details later. So in advanced, that is Intel, BTX, and BTD. But BMD settings is not here. Okay, fine. And then if you go to the security, as you can see, I can go. But in your one, might be you can't go. Let me tell you the reason. Did you see at the beginning, there was a password required to get into BIOS, okay? Which is called set supervisor password, which one I enable. So let's make it disable and show you what happened. So hit enter, I put my old password, hit enter again, and it's done. Now, if I try to go down, you see, it's not going down. For example, let's make it like this. Might be you can able to see, okay. So now, if I press the down arrow, you see, it doesn't go, okay? So due to use those settings, what you need to do, you must need to put the password. Otherwise, you don't be able to go and change those settings. That's what happened, okay? So this is the things, and then boot menu, obviously, you can change. As you can see, there are two boot available. One of them is my USB, another one is in there. Now. Let's go to details about it. So first things, we need to go. We need to go to security. We need to enter, set up a password. Or let's say without password, we're going to try, see what happens. Now, if you are trying to install the Windows, we don't be able to see the internal SSD. Let me show you how it happened. So we're going to change this one to F1. You see? And we're going to save by F10. So when you keep the BIOS settings default, you don't be able to install any windows or any changes with the boot. Okay. We need to customize the settings. I just want to show you what happened when you keep everything default. So it's loading up. And also during the installation, the trackpad get disabled. So I do have external mouse in here. I'm going to connect it and I'll be able to use as you can see now. So let's go to next, install, accept the terms and condition, hit next. We're going to choose custom install Windows only. This is the advanced mode. Click here. As you can see, there is no hard drive or SSD available. Now, if you do have this sort of problem, let's show you how to resolve it. So click cross, say exit it, 
cross again, system would restart. While it restart, we're gonna keep pressing F2. Once we press F2, it's gonna come out straight away because we did not set up any password or anything. Now, these things happen for one reason, which is called VMD enabled. So if you do have any brand, does not matter. And if the processor is from Intel 10, 11, 12 gen, this is the common problem because by default, they left the VMD settings enabled. We could say VMD is a kind of, let's say, memory controller or storage controller, okay? When it's enabled, you don't be able to uh, do the USB boot. You don't be able to see it. However, to make it disabled, what do you need to do? We need to go to advanced option or main. On the main section, we don't see anything, right? But if you do control S, look into the screen what happened. You see, once I pressed control S, these two button, straight away some of the function added. So now if I go through here, I can see there is an option called VMD and which is enable, okay? And this is, you can see the details. VMD stands for Intel Volume Manage Device Bootcamp, okay? That's why we don't able to see the internal drive. So let's make it disable. Hit enter and then just disable it. Fine. This thing sorted. Now let's go to advanced. Leave this one as it is. You don't need to change anything. Now let's go to security. Just for the video purpose. Let's say if you want to go down, what you have to do, you have to create a password. For example, hit enter again and put a password, it could be anything. For example, one, enter, one, enter, enter again to save. Okay, now you see, you can go and change. So if you are struggling with this section, you can go there and you can change if there is any option available, you see? You can go through everywhere. If you want, you can clear the TPM. You can set up the password again, okay? So this is just the video purpose. I don't need any password. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear it off again. Now let me show you how to clear. Hit enter again, put the old password, which is one, hit enter, save. Okay, now it's cleared. So we change a couple of things. Let me show you what I done. One second, we turn on the VMD, made it disable. First thing, we left the advance as it is. We went to the security. If you want to go through here, you can edit, go. And we went to the boot settings and we change USB as a first boot option. How to do that is pretty simple. Let's say you want to change number two into one. Just press F6. You see, it goes up. Again, if you need USB as a first boot priority, press F6 again, it comes up. Then press F10 to save and the game is over. Now system would restart, it will load up and this time we would be successfully able to see the internal SSD wire to install the Windows. At this stage, it might take a couple of minutes to load up. So if you see Acer logo and nothing happened, don't worry, it should be fine. Now I can see this one turn on successfully. Don't forget to add any extra mouse because when the Windows installation page showed up, straight away, the trackpad goes disabled which will be fine by the way. Once the setup is done, we can reconnect the internet and update the trackpad. Now, as you can see, it shows the internal SSD, you know, because the VMD is disabled. If the VMD enabled, you wouldn't be able to see any internal drive. By the way, I don't have any important data, so I'm deleting all the partition. But if you do have important data, please don't proceed that. Make sure you back it up first before you do anything like that. So I have a single partition now. I can just click on next and then the main process of Windows installation would begin and it would be absolutely fine. So that's all about Acer uh, as a extension 15 BIOS. This procedure you can apply for any model that should be fine, especially for Acer though. Thank you so much. Still, if you do have any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section. I hope I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.